we will continue with the numerical problem that we are discussing in the last class. We took a function z s equal to s squared plus 2 s plus 16 divided by s squared plus 2 s plus 4. We started off with this function and we found that at omega 1 is equal to root 8 the real part vanishes and we also obtained the value of x 1 as half s rather corresponding impedance this was L 1 s all right. And this was minus half s minus half Henry. This is z 1 s which will be equal to z s minus L 1 s and that gave me uh, L 1 s is having a negative sign. So, that gave me a plus sign. So, we got s squared plus 8 into s plus 4 divided by 2 into s squared plus 2 s plus 4. Okay. To realize a pole, to realize a pole, we know we can make partial fraction. So, this 0 is to be converted to a pole. So, we can very easily realize z 1 s in terms of admittance function which will be 2 into s squared plus 2 s plus 4 divided by s squared plus 8 into s plus 4. We write as k 1 s by s squared plus 8. We know whenever there are roots on the imaginary axis, it will be realized in terms of an L c network k 1 s by s squared plus 8 plus k 2 by s plus 4. This is to be seen later. Let us see what this means. How much is k 1 multiply by s squared plus 8 divide by s make s squared plus 8 equal to 0. So, this will give me 2 into 4 minus 8. So, minus 4 plus 2 s divided by s into s square plus 8. So, s into s, uh, s plus 4. So, s square plus 4 s which gives me this is minus 8 plus 4 s divided by minus 8 plus 4 s. So, that is equal to 1. Similarly, k 2 if I multiply by s plus 4 and make s plus 4 equal to 0. So, s is equal to minus 4. So, 16 plus 4 20 minus 2 into 4 8. So, 12. So, 2 into 12 divided by this is 16 plus 8 24 is it not 24. So, that is equal to 1. So, y 1 s turns out to be s by s squared plus 8 plus 1 by s plus 4. So, what does it mean? We have got L 1 equal to minus half n g, then we have got y 1 s plus y 2 s. Okay. This is y 2, this is y 1. So, corresponding z 1 or this z is s squared plus 8 by s which is 1 Henry plus 1 8 Farad and this one is this z if I call it <coughs> z 2 and z 3 
then z 3 is 4 plus s all right. So, <coughs> the network looks like this. This is 1 Henry, <coughs> this is 1 8 Farad, this is minus half Henry, this is 1 Henry and this is 4 ohms and this 1 Henry, 1 Henry and minus half Henry, this can be combined together in the form of a transformer. 1 minus half, so this will be half Henry primary inductance, 2 Henry secondary inductance and 2 into half square root of that is 1, 1 Henry m, 100 percent coupling. And then you have the capacitor, capacitor and resistor. So, this is the network, Bondorfin network, sorry, uh, Bruni's network. Is that all right? Let us see what it will look like if we go for Bondorfin synthesis. If we go for Bondorfin synthesis, our starting point will be this omega 1, all right. Rather that reactance where the frequency omega 1 has been identified corresponding to real part 0, okay. Any question at this point? Sir? If the real part is not 0, suppose it is having a minimum value, but it is not 0 it is minimum at certain value, then we will take out that minimum value. Suppose we are given a function where the real part, where is like this. So, we try to find out <coughs> if it is not 0, if it is not vanishing at a particular frequency, then we try to find out its minimum value. Then from the real part, you separate out that. So, we realize this R minimum separately okay. and from this point onward our Bruni synthesis starts. So, separate out suppose that comes out to be 1 ohm, then you subtract from Z s that 1 ohm, whatever is the balance that will have a minimum point equal to 0 at this frequency. Is it not? So, this frequency has already been identified where this occurs and I have calculated the R minimum value. Separate it out, subtract this R minimum from Z s. Whatever is left over, I call it Z dash s, we will start the synthesis procedure from this point either by Bordafin or by Bruni synthesis technique. Is that point clear? Because I want the real part should vanish at a particular frequency. So, what, what is that frequency? We have identified the frequency at which the value is minimum, but it is not 0 say. Then if we extract out that resistance from the original Z s, then whatever is left over that will have a minimum equal to 0 at that frequency. So, rest of the network now it becomes a minimum function. Earlier the function Z s given may not be a minimum function. All right. So, we will uh, take up this uh, Z s by Bordafin synthesis. So, S squared plus 2 s plus 16 divided by S squared plus 2 s plus 4. We found at omega 1 is equal to root 8 Z j omega z j omega was how much? Uh, minus root 2 j. Is that all right? Minus root 2 j. This will be our starting point. Now, what are the different 
functions that we took for Borddorfian synthesis, the structure was a capacitor and then Z 1 s and an inductor and Z 2 s. Okay, where Z 1 s Z 1 s if you remember what did we write for Z 1 s yesterday Z 1 s and Z 2 s that we uh, wrote if you k times as uh, Z k times R s. Is it not? and z 2 s was z k by r s that Richard function. L was z k by k, all right and this was 1 by k z k. So, if this is negative, this reactance is negative at that frequency negative reactance comes only out of the capacitor. So, at that frequency I want the current to should current should flow through this that means, this, this should be infinity and this should be a short. If this is an infinite impedance this is a short because one is R s into something the other one is 1 by R s into that something all right. So, if this is infinity this will be 0, if this is infinity this will be 0. In this case what do we want? if it is minus j x then current should flow through this that means, this is a reactance that should come into picture. So, it will be minus j x plus 0, if it is plus j x then this should be the path. So, this should be short and current should flow like this, this should be open is that all right. So, you know when this will be infinity this will be 0 and this will be 0 this will be infinity if it is turning out to be plus j x then it will be corresponding to j omega l. So, this will be infinity this will be 0. So, current will be short and then this reactance. So, the reactance scene is this when it is minus j x then reactance scene is this that means, this will be open and this will be short. So, the overall impedance is this. So, follow that procedure it is very simple. So, how much is C C one if I call it C okay or C one whatever you call it will be one by omega one into Z C which is one by omega one is root eight two root two okay omega 1 is already identified and what was the magnitude of this reactance that was root 2 is it not z at that frequency is root 2 magnitude is root 2. So, this is the value of the capacitance. So, that is equal to 1 by 4 farads. Now, z C s is nothing but k z k by s ok z c s is z k by k is l all right and c was 1 by k z k c is 1 by k z k and that has already been computed as 1 by 4. So, k z k is 4 all right. So, k into put z s equal to z k in place of s you put k. So, k square plus twice k plus 16 divided by k square plus twice k plus 4 
So, that is equal to 4. Solve for this, you get k cubed plus 2 k squared minus 4, 4 k squared. So, minus 2 k squared okay, plus 16 k minus 8 k. So, plus 8 k plus 16 comes to this side minus 16 equal to 0 or k minus 2 into k squared plus 8 equal to 0. So, the real value of k is 2. Okay. Real value of k is 2. So, how much is z k? k into z k is 4, k is 2. So, z k is also 2, 4 by 2. Is that okay? Therefore, z k is 4 by k is equal to 4 by 2. So, we have got z k and k. So, how much will be L z k by k? Is it not? L is z k by k, c is 1 by k z k, z 2 s is this, z 1 s is this. So, L is 1. Okay. L is 1. What is Richard function R s? You have to compute now R s k z s minus s z k sorry it is drying up divided by k z k minus s z s substitute the value of k. So, it is 2 into s squared plus twice s plus 16 divided by s squared plus 2 s plus 4 minus s into z k is 2 divided by k into z k is 4 minus s into z s s squared plus 2 s plus 16 by s squared plus 2 s plus 4. Okay. If you multiply by s square plus 2 s plus 4 and simplify, then you get twice s cubed and change the sign. You can put this as plus, this as plus, this as minus, this as minus. And then twice s cubed, you can even two, take two common. So, 2 into s cubed plus 2 to the 4 minus mm, 2 to the 4, just check what you get. Uh, am I getting all right? 2 into s square plus z s, just check the values. I, I might have made a mistake 2 to the 4 and 2 s into 2 s 4. I made a slip somewhere uh, s squared twice s squared. Uh, oh, sorry, this is 2 s squared, this is 4 s squared. So, s cube plus s squared plus 2 s minus 16. All right. If I take two common, so sixteen divided by, you'll get s cubed minus two s squared plus eight s minus sixteen. Okay. S cubed plus two s squared minus four s squared, so minus two s squared plus sixteen. Okay. So, I have got it will not come here equal to 2 into s minus 2 into s squared plus 3 s plus 
a divided by s minus 2 into s squared plus 8. So, s minus 2 will get cancelled. Okay. You get 2 into s squared plus 3 s plus 8 divided by s squared plus 8. Okay. So, z 1 which is z k into r s will be z k is 2, 2 into r s is equal to 4, 2 into this. So, 4 into s squared plus 3 s plus 8 divided by s squared plus 8. You can see for yourself s squared plus 8 by s squared plus 8 is 1, 4 plus 12 s by s squared plus 8. This is z 1. So, what is it? 4 ohms and an L c parallel combination, which is 12 Henry, okay. uh, 12 s by s square, 1 by 12 farad, 1 by 12 farad and 12 s by 8, 3 by 2 Henry. This is z 1. Okay. Similarly, z 2 is z k by r s and that is equal to 2 by r s 2 and 2 will go. go. So, this is s square plus 8 divided by s square plus 3 s plus 8. Okay. So, z 2 I can realize as y 2 which is s square plus 3 s plus 8 by s square plus 8 and which will give me same factors that will be in the form of an admittance. So, for more the z 2 part will be therefore, 1 4 this is nothing but the same factor sorry 1 plus sorry 1 plus 3 s by s square plus 8. Now, this 4 constant is not there. So, 1 more 1 more and on this side you will have s square plus 8 by 3 s. So, s by 3 1 third Henry and 8 by 3 s. So, 3 by 8 farad. So, this is z 2. So, finally, we got a capacitor C that was how much was C 1 by 4 farad and then with that we got z 1 and z 1 was 4 ohm and L C. Okay. Then L and how much was our L 1 Henry and on this side Z 2 you have got this is the realization. Okay. This is 4 this is 3 by 2, this is 1 by 12 farad, this is 1 ohm, this is 1 third and this is 3 by 8. So, this is the bond of in network. One thing is very interesting, you have got C z 1 which is shorted. I might as well write this since it is a parallel combination L and z 2 there is nothing wrong in it. Is it not? Is this all right? Now, you see this into this is equal to this into this is it not? 
how much is this? Zk by k. This is one by k into Zk. So take the products. How much was Z1 and Z2? Z1 into Z2. How much is it? Okay, let us see. Uh, sorry, I'll write all these. Z1 was Zk into Rs. Z2 is Zk by Rs. L1. How much was L L1? Zk by k and L2. Uh, sorry, C C1. How much is C1? How much is C1? No, I, I am talking in terms of Zk's. Uh, in terms of Z's, in terms of Z's, we have written one is Zk by Rs, one by Kzk. Is that all right? Hmm? So, Z1. Zk. Okay, Z1 into Z2 is Zk squared. Hmm. Z1 into sorry, uh, Z1 into L. How much is it? Zk squared into Rs by K. What is Z2 into? This is C1. Sorry. So how much is this? Uh, ZL ZK by K into S. How much is ZC? ZC is ZK by K into S. Is it not? <coughs> Sorry. Uh, 1 by C was 1 by KZK, is it? So, 1 by Cs. So, K Z K by S. By S. Uh, now, how much is Z 1 <coughs> into Z 2? Z K square. How much is Z L into Z C? Also Z K square. So, if I write Z 1 Z C Z L and Z two. Okay, this is what we have written. The same thing I'm writing in in place of L and C. I'm just writing Z L and Z C. Take the product of these two is equal to this. So it's a balanced bridge. So this can be eliminated this into this is equal to this into this. So, it is a balanced bridge network. So, this can be removed. So, it, I can put Z 1 in series with Z L, Z C in series with Z 2. Uh, impedance function is same, is it not? So, this same network one fourth farad in series with this and one Henry inductor in series with this, both of them will be in parallel. So, this network will be therefore, reduced to four ohms 3 by 2, 1 by 12, 1 Henry. This is four ohms 3 by 2, 1 by 12, 4 Henrys, 1 Henry. And this side will have one by four one ohm one 
one third and three by eight. So, this is the overall realization. You could have left at this point also the two series blocks. Here there are two parallel blocks. Okay. There is an interesting question that has been asked here. Uh, most of the problems are taken from some of the very standard books uh, you may come across in many places. Okay. This interesting question is uh, determine the admittance. I okay. will just draw this first. This is given as an admittance G, this is given K C, this is given as L by K, this is given as G, this is given as K C. The admittance seen from this side Y A show that Y A is twice G into S square plus K by 2 L G S plus 1 by 2 L C divided by S square plus G by K C S plus 2 by L C. Obviously, the admittance is appearing to be quite cumbersome. Is it not? One may go for uh, start to delta conversion, then again you will get parallel branches, okay. you can do it. I thought that I will go for a little shortcut. I mean it is easy to compute. It is not otherwise difficult. You have you have been given, say, I will write in the very general form Z1, something like this, Z2, Z3, Z2, Z1. So, if I reduce this from star to delta and then again add with this this, add with this z 2, make the parallel combinations and then add with this series. Okay. Instead of that, because of this symmetric position z 1 and z 2, suppose z 3 we replace by twice z 3, then I will have a delta here twice z 3. In parallel with that another twice z 3. Okay. Now, this one will give me a star product. Okay. Let me show it like this. Say Z A, Z B and Z C. Then what will be the products of this? Z 1, Z 2 twice Z 3. This is, not, this is also Z 1, Z 2 twice Z 3. It will be Z A, uh, sorry Z C, Z B just Z B and Z C will interchange their positions and this will remain as Z A, is it not? 
see this one and this one they are identical except that z 1 z 2 I have just rotated this is it not. So, the same element values will come in just a change order. So, z b and z c will be interchanging their positions. Now, it is z b plus z c on this side this side also z b plus z c. So, parallel combination of these two. So, what will be the total z it will be z a plus z a twice z a plus z b plus z c divided by 2. Is it all right? So, make a star delta conversion of these impedances z 1, z 2 and twice z 3 okay? and then compute this. So, this is quite a bit of a reduction in labor in the computational labor. Once you know this z, you can calculate y 1 over this. So, this is 4 by 4 z a plus z b plus z c. So, I leave it as an exercise uh, you can do this and derive this relation very easily there is no problem. Yes. And sorry, this is two by hmm, two by. When you put the values of z a, z b, z c, you will get that in this form. Uh, Now that we have got the method of RLC synthesis ready, uh, you remember some time back we checked S plus 2 into S plus 3, is it a into S plus 4, is it a positive real function and if it is realizable can you realize 1. So, m 1 m 2 minus n 1 n 2 we check that time which is s squared plus 5 s plus 6 divided by s squared plus 5 s plus 4. So, s squared plus 6 into s squared plus 4 minus 25 s squared. So, that gave me s to the power 4 minus s squared plus minus 15 s squared 6 plus 4 10 minus 25 15 s squared plus 24. So, if I put s equal to j omega that gives me omega to the power 4 plus 15 omega squared plus 24 this is always positive. So, if I am asked to realize this function poles and zeros are not coming alternately. So, this is going to be an R L C combination, R L C combination. Okay. So, one may try partial fractions. Let us try if it if it works, otherwise we will go for that Bordafin or Brunis synthesis. If it is possible to write this as k 1 by s plus 1 plus k 2 by s plus 4 or it can be k 1 s by s plus 1 plus sorry k 2 by s plus 4. That means, I put s with one of them one is R c the other one is R l plus if required a constant k 3 either of them let us see whether we can get in this form. In the first one if I write in this form how much is k 1 put s plus 1 equal to 0. So, that gives me 1 into 2 by 3. So, 2 by 3 
s plus 1 okay k2 if i multiply by s plus 4 divide by s and then make s plus 4 equal to 0 then it will be 2 minus 2 minus 1 divided by minus 4 minus 3 so it will be positive so this will be 2 by 4 into 3 12 s by s plus 4 that is 1 by 6 plus k 3 if I make s tending to infinity do you get anything s tending to infinity will be k 2 plus k 3 okay. k 2 is how much 1 by 6 if I make s tending to infinity this will become s to the power 2 by s to the power 2. So, 1 1 on the right hand side if I make s tending to infinity it will be k 2 plus k 3 k 2 is 1 by 6 plus k 3. So, k 3 is 5 by 6 ok. So, this will be an R c network all right. Two by three s so three by two farads s tending to zero means two by three ohms resistance. This is an RL network s tending to infinity means two by twelve one by six ohm resistance. When s tending to zero, it is one by six. Sorry when s tending to infinity yes s tending to 0 it will be 2 by 48. So, 1 by 24 farads ok and then 5 by 6 ohm resistance. It is possible to realize simply by partial fractions only thing you will have to keep on trying possibilities either this or the other one is like this. it is an RLC. You can also try by Bruni's synthesis. Let us see when is that real part vanishing, does the real part vanish? If not what to do? So, Z s equal to S squared plus 5 s plus 6, I am just rewriting this problem S squared plus 5s plus 4. So, real z s real z j omega will be m 1 m 2 minus n 1 n 2 by m 2 square minus n 2 square and that is equal to we just now worked it out s to the power 4 sorry omega to the power 4 plus 15 omega square plus 24 divided by how much is m 2 square minus n 2 square a square plus 4 whole square a square plus 4 whole square minus 25 a square put s equal to j omega. So, omega to the power 4 plus 4 into 2 8 minus 25 ok 17 minus 17 omega square means plus 17 omega square minus 17 a square huh, plus 16. All right. Now, this is not vanishing at any frequency, then what do we do? What do we do? Find out the frequency at which this value is minimum. I can put omega square is equal to x, let me make it in a quadratic form. So, this will become x squared plus 15 x plus 24 divided by x square plus 17 x plus 16. Then let us call it f x. So, f dash x equal to 0. So, that gives me how much twice x plus 15 into x square plus 17 x plus 16 that will be equal to after we equal to 0 twice x plus 17 into 
x square plus 15x plus 24. Correct me if I am wrong. Is that all right? <coughs> twice, <coughs> sorry, twice x cubed will get cancelled. Then 17x square, 34x square minus 15, 34 minus 15. 19 x squared okay, plus 16 into 2 32 plus 17 into 15 all right. So, 255 into x plus 15 into 16 240. On this side, you get 2 x square 2 x cube get cancelled. Then 15 into 2 30 plus 17 47 x square all right plus 24 into 2 48 plus 48 x plus 255 x plus 17 into 24. Is that all right? Plus 17 into 24. So, that gives me 47 minus 19, 28 x squared, 48. Hmm? 47 minus 19, 255 will get cancelled, 48 minus 32, 16 x plus 17 into 24 minus 24 into 10. So, 7 into 24 is that all right 168 0. Hmm? If you divide by 4 7 x squared plus 4 x hmm, plus 42 is equal to 0. Is that all right? 7x squared plus 42 plus 4x. So, you will get one a real value, positive value of x. So, x is just let us calculate minus 4 plus minus root over 16. You will get imaginary values. Both are, Both are imaginary. There is something. Uh, something wrong, uh, I might, might have made a mistake. Uh, there must be some frequency where it is minimum. Omega squared is equal to x squared plus 15 x plus 24 x squared plus 17 x plus 16. I hope this is all right. Yeah, hmm? Okay, Then 2 x plus 15 into x squared plus 17 x plus 16, 2 x plus 17 into x square plus 15 x plus 24. So, 2 x cubed, 2 x cubed they get cancelled. 2 x into, okay, let me uh, rewrite it. Anyway, what I wanted to stress is you will get a real value of x that is equal to omega square. So, calculate omega, omega and substitute that omega here in the real part. So, that will give you, give you the minimum value that is when the real part, real part varies like this, it is this minimum value and after computing that r minimum subtract it from z s, subtract it from z s, whatever is left over you start realizing that z s, the remainder z s. There may be a small slip somewhere here, we will discuss it in the next class if time permits, otherwise you work it out yourself and since there is not much of time. Okay. Thank you very much, we will uh, continue with this in the next class.
Good morning friends, today we will have a tutorial exercise on some of the topics that we have covered so far. I will take up a few examples and discuss. <coughs> there is a problem, first example is a very simple one. You have a bridge capacitive circuit the values are 2 farads 1 farad 4 farads and 1 farad what will be the equivalent capacitances C1, C2 and C3. Okay. Now, in this case as you know a capacitor is having an impedance if you talk in terms of sinusoids it will be 1 by omega C it will be J here. If you talk in Laplace domain it will be 1 by SC. That means, the impedance is inversely proportional to C. So, I can take these capacitances to be equivalent impedances or even resistances with the values which will be just inverse of these something like half ohms, one fourth ohm, one ohm and 1 ohm. I can replace it by an equivalent impedance circuit. Now, after this we can get an equivalent one by a star delta conversion. So, if this is a delta then I can have a star like this. So, these three nodes are these three. So, what will be the value of this 1 into half divided by 1 plus half plus 1. So, 1 into half divided by 2 and a half. So, that gives me 1 by 5, 1 by 5. Similarly, this one will be 1 into 1 by 2 and a half. So, 2 by 5 and similarly this is 1 and 2 1 and this one will be again 1 and a half. So, this one will be 1 by 5, this is 1 by 4. So, you get 1 by 5, 2 by 5, and 1 by 5 plus 1 by 4, 9 by 20. So, take the inverse of these that will give you the equivalent capacitance 5 farads, 2.5 farads and 20 by 9 farads. Okay. So, these are the three equivalent capacitances. What will be the expression for this type of periodic function? It is pretty simple 0, this is 5, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and so on, this is minus 5. Obviously, the first block can be written as 5 into u t and then at 2 seconds I apply a negative step at u t minus 2. So, that gives me <coughs> the first block. Again at 4 it is negative, so minus u t minus 4 
and at 6 I apply u t minus 6 a positive step and that completes one period up to 8 seconds and then it keeps on repeating. So, show one period if I show one period and then show it as a repetition of the same function this will be written as 5 I can write this as summation u t minus 2 okay, u t so plus after 8 seconds again it is plus u t okay, so u t plus k a 8 minus u t minus 2 minus k 8 c has to be equal to 2 ok c has to be equal to 2 if I add this a squared plus 2 into a s plus 2 s that gives me s cubed plus twice a plus 2 into s and that is equal to 5 s cubed plus 5 s cubed plus 5 b s. So, here a s cubed sorry a is equal to 5 and if I put a equal to 5, 5 into 2 10 plus 2 12 is equal to 5 b therefore, b is equal to 12 by 5. Okay. This is a very simple uh, example. Well, before we take up any other problem, I think uh, we will stop here today, we will continue in the next class because there is not much of time.